who don't know who who is Braxton Winston. Where is he from? <laughs> Uh, what does he like? What does he do? Like, just tell the people a little bit. Well, about I'm you. a little, I'm a guy, yo. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm, 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 I am a guy. I'm a, you know, my whole thing. I close every stump speech. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a dad. I'm a coach. I'm a husband. I'm a union stagehand. I work wages. I'm a, a wildcat, Davidson wildcat. Uh, you know, Davidson alum. Okay. Um, you know, I, I mean, I was. Born in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, you know, son of a Marine okay. and a school teacher, nice. you know, raised in Brooklyn, New York. Hold after away. they got out, raised in Y'all Brooklyn. Y'all heard he said Brooklyn. Hold on, <laughs> Brooklyn, stand now, up. Listen, stand all the way up. That's home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Raised in Brooklyn, New York, Crown Heights, Best Stuy, East New York. Uh, you know, played football and, and it was always kind of, you know, it was a books and ball. I grew nice. up, you know, that kept me out, you know, off the streets. Um, you know, went to went to school in Canarsie, you know. You name it everywhere where I was born. Yeah, 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 what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I got the opportunity. I you know, went through public school, you know, from kindergarten through eighth grade. Got the opportunity to go a very privileged um, New England boarding school, Phillips Academy in Andover. Spent four years up there. Um, my wife went up went there. That's where we met. She's from the Bronx. Um, wow. And. Uh, Came down here at Davidson College in 2001. Um, son of a fireman, you know, 9 11 happened my first week of college. Wow. Definitely shaped my experience wow. down here. Um, and uh, started working in entertainment production, you know, while I was still at Davidson. I'm a cameraman for the Charlotte Hornets. I'm a stagehand, a union stagehand, proud member of IOTC, local 322 down here. Um, and, uh, you know, just like I said, just trying to make it. I'm, I'm, I'm your typical. In a lot of ways, I'm, I'm, most ways, I'm, I'm your typical 35 year old right now. Um, I, uh, I'm in debt mm -hmm. from college, heavily in debt. Oh, yeah. Something that I'll probably never get out of. Mm -hmm. um, I make it paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, um, I don't have wealth. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, you know, I don't have numerical wealth, but I'm, mm. I'm wealthy and everything else. Nice. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's nice. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? <laughs> All right, nice. You know? And you know, one thing I love about you, Councilman, is you're so humble. Like, even being able to talk to you and, like, have that moment, like, when we both from Brooklyn. It's just, how do you maintain that humility? I, like I said, I just try to be me. Mm -hmm. Like, I just try to be, you know... I, I just try to be me. I don't try to be any anybody else. Mm -hmm. I don't have answers. I don't have all the answers. Right. I have some ideas. Right. Um, and I, I, I just, I'm a worker. I'm a worker. I, that's, I come from a family of workers. I've always seen myself as a, as a worker that wants to do work. Um, and I, I, I say what I mean. Yeah. That's the Brooklyn, right? That's the Brooklyn, right? Like that's, that's if we see it, we, we see, say, we say it, it. and it doesn't matter. You know, you can tell a person. For, that's what I was raised around. Right. It don't matter. You know, if that, that if it's if it's if it's a dude that sleep by the subway right. or it's a dude that running running the right. office. You right. you know that's that's the Brooklyn in right. you. Like you right. gonna say what you mean and mean yeah. what you say. Yeah. That's always what you try to do. Yeah. Um. So I, that's that's. I don't. I don't know if to say no if, if it's being humble or mm. or or you know a sense of humility. But mm. I just I can't be nobody else. Yeah, I love that. Well, and that like comes. It's not always convenient. I can tell you that. <laughs> well. I can. Okay. I promise you, it's not always convenient. It is not all. Right. That's and that's you know you know that's one thing you know I, I think. Um, I, I hope it's it's been tough. Not tough, but you know with all the attention. Mm -hmm. Is that especially when you think of Black History Month, we we sort of valorize the struggle, yeah. and you can sort of co-op the struggle that 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 it's um, that people that, that the people that we celebrate and the kind of ideas that we celebrate have figured it out, mm. and that's just not the case. Mm. That's just not the case. It's 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 good to have inspiration and mm. and, 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 and 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 people to reach up towards, but but man, it, it's it's. Yeah. You look behind the curtains, and it's it's, it's it's a lot of ugliness, just like in everybody's life. Just trying to figure it out. 